Kyle, how are you playing your negativity on China? Look, you've been consistent on this. You've made the case that people should divest from that economy. Are you looking again at shortening the yuan? You look at the PBOC comments and attempts to let, put a floor under that currency today. How are you playing the China negativity story? Well, you know, well, number one, I would just say I'm trying to be a realist about are you going to make money investing in China in the long run or is it going to be the Chinese Communist Party? What I'm trying to remind everyone is uh, you don't make anything investing in a totalitarian government over a long period of time. So uh, you say it's negativity. I kind of say it's realism. Mm -hmm. uh, and when you talk about one day. Uh, you know, you have the Chinese government and you have the Japanese government talking about you have UADA talking about a potential rate hike and you have the Chinese government trying to muscle their currency stronger when in the long run you've got the Chinese economy circling the drain. You have the real estate market falling apart. You've got what uh, every single private developer is in some stage of bankruptcy today. Uh, and you've got about 190 billion worth of uh, offshore bonds, dollar bonds in some sense of uh, default. So it's important not to pay attention to the daily moves and important to really look at this over a long period of time yeah. to decide whether you want to allocate portfolio money there or not. Okay, so I know this is sort of short term, but so any rallies, you want to short them for the yuan, for example? I mean, I just don't think you want to short. I think you just don't want to invest, right? I mean, I think you want to invest okay. in markets where there's a rule of law and where you have uh, real leadership and you actually have ways to earn returns uh, that are positive for your portfolio.